Next we're going to look at Photoshop Mix, which is another great way to add things into your creative workflow. This time targeting primarily Photoshop. It's a way to mix together two or more images to give voice to an idea. So in opening the app, I'm going to tap on the plus on the left hand side and choose the image I would like for my background. So I think I'll have this image just here and the project will be created. And there are various different things I can do to the image, such as tune it, apply an auto fix, and so on if I want to. If I want to change the exposure, I simply choose that option and then drag right to left on the image to be able to tune that as desired. And again, I can do similar with contrast and clarity and saturation there also. So I'm just going to apply that. I'm going to hit the tick to do that. And if I wanted to, I could apply various different color looks to it also. So you can see there's a range of different color looks I could apply there. I think I'll have that one too. Once I'm happy with that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the plus for the next input image at the top of the screen. And I think I'll choose something different this time. I think I'll have this cute kitty here like so. And I want to cut out the cute kitty. So I'm going to tap that. And then with my finger, just brush across the kitten like so. And you see how quickly that Photoshop Mix learns about this. Now, I actually want to make a deliberate mistake and leave some of that off. So I'm just going to brush into these bits just here and just capture that roughly. That's just fine. But you can see that I've missed off that right hand side of the face. Looks a bit eerie, I know, but bear with me. I'm going to apply this, right? So the cutout has been applied. Then I'm going to realize my mistake. So what I do is I tap cut out again. And now as I brush over with my finger, you'll see that absolutely nothing was destroyed. This is a completely non-destructive application. And while it might not do everything I need to get the job done completely, it does do enough for me to get started with it. And I can do scale and rotation. And again, apply different adjustments to this as well if I wanted to. So if I wanted to make the kitty more contrasty, for example, I could do that and so on. And then I could push this asset up to Photoshop from here. You'll see that if I hit the out arrow at the top of the screen, I can save it to a range of places, including sharing it via social media down at the bottom. You can see I have Facebook and Instagram there. I'm going to send this out to Photoshop and this will take a moment or two for this to send because it's a larger sort of binary asset. So whereas the other things I've been sending quite often contain primarily numeric data, this takes a little while longer. But once it's done, it will be sent to the cloud and then it will be opened on my machine ready for me to go. And this is in real time, not an edit. You'll actually see that once it's created the PSD, that Photoshop will actually launch in the background and then I'll be able to work on it further there. So we'll just wait for that to happen. In fact, I might swap out to Photoshop just now so that you can see Photoshop there and then the asset will come down and we can modify it from there. And there it is. It just popped in like so. And let's have a look at that in the layers panel. So if I click here, there's my original background and here is the kitty as I cut it out, complete with a layer mask, which means the mask can then be refined using the refinement tools that I can access via the properties panel, like so, and have more content added to it, or even some manual intervention with a bit of brushing there. So it's a fun way to get a project started, and it is really, really useful.